Who is this for? Who is buying this? Who Who is actually buying this? There's been a recent leak, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the video posted by Twitter user at Zuby underscore tech shows the PlayStation handheld device turned on with someone navigating through the home screen and app pages with the device clearly running Android OS. Last month, Microsoft had a go at suggesting the price of Sony's uh, unreleased device during its legal battle against the FTC. With the Microsoft Activision deal still awaiting completion, they stated that it expects Project Q to be under $300. We've got a couple of questions why is this a bad thing jasmine from the the footage we saw there wasn't even like a separate ui there wasn't even like a mm. launch pad or anything it was literally just like it looks like you were just using an android phone it makes it seem even more worthless picking up this device for 300 quid when you could literally just use your android phone and connect a controller to it or a backbone um it doesn't make sense to me and i feel like this won't be the case i feel like this is some type of like early model where they haven't like installed the ui properly or they haven't installed whatever operating system they're planning on using properly so i am really 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 keeping my fingers crossed that sony rectify whatever this issue is because this is just a nightmare on top of what was already a nightmare of a device on top of what aaron said that he would only pay 60 quid for at most for mm. this device like and now it comes out that it might justify my comments again by not having a bespoke UI, do you know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. It's just mm. like making it seem worse and worse and worse. Because PlayStation Remote plays a thing. You can play games from your PlayStation streamed onto your mobile phone, Android and Apple. Now. So you can do it right now if you want to. Yeah, right now. That's not something yeah. you have to wait for. That's already been out. Yeah. That's been out since PlayStation 4, correct me if I'm wrong. So that's been a thing for years that you can already do you can, and mm. the majority of people already own a phone right you just pick up your phone you start i mean playing. yeah you hope so <laughs> if you want to go and get a controller for said phone you can do that a backbone will set you back less than 100 quid there's stuff like the razor kishi which is probably like 40 quid for android they mm. these these things are so much cheaper than however much project q is going to come out at so why would anyone pick up Project Q? I don't, I'm still struggling so hard to understand. This is exactly the same thing I said when they announced it. The exact same thing I said when Microsoft predicted the price of it. And now the same thing again. Who is this for? Who is buying this? <laughs> who Who is actually buying this? Do we think the leak is correct? Are we all three of us in agreement that it is probably likely to run Android? Is that what we're saying? I feel like it probably will but i'm really hanging on to this hope that it's not i'm gonna say i'm like mm. 60 40 60 that okay. it will run android and 40 that it won't and okay. if it runs android i am like 90 percent sure they'll have some type of like launchpad ui or something because there's no way you're unlocking your project q and it just opens up like a google pixel there is no way <laughs> that is happening maybe i just don't want to admit it maybe that's what it is yeah. so we're not a fan that's we're in agreement but will no. it be a success no no will other because people who's it for it? who's it for who would buy it let's have a think who wasn't a success let's, let's all that. think it... let's all think well, who would buy it Let, who would buy this let's think of so everyone some... brainstorm everyone give me one example of one person that buy this thing i promise you i promise you people in the comments as well you won't be able to do it you won't <laughs> You won't Someone be able to give an example. who wants to play first-party PS5 exclusives in their house whilst watching TV, who but doesn't cannot be have bothered a phone. to buy a Steam Deck, who don't, who don't have, a have a phone. Well, they can't play PS5 games on their phone, can they? Remote play, they can. Yeah, mm. PS remote play. Yeah. So, what, right, so someone nice who doesn't screen, have a phone, who yeah. doesn't want to buy a Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to yeah. play PS5? Which is only games. like hundred pound more than this thing. Who wants be. to play PS5 games whilst also watching TV? Whoever wants yeah. to play Deathloop, but when they reload their gun, can feel the bullets go back into the chamber. Oh, using the right, that, that, you got me now. The, you yeah. got me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay. What you. about what about if you've got a silly little phone that's not powerful enough to stream PlayStation games? And you don't want to buy a new phone. That might be cheaper than buying a phone, no? Well, no, because that money, with that money, you could go and buy yourself a refurbished phone, which is going to be much higher specification than that. And it's a phone. It's not just like a, a device to play PlayStation games on. It will also do other yeah. things like you can use social media and make phone calls and 
you have a camera. Like it has so many other things <laughs> on your phone as well. And you phones aren't too expensive anymore when you're getting them yeah. secondhand or re refurbished. And I'm a big fan yeah. of secondhand market with everything, hardware, software, everything. So go and do that instead, please. Guys, if, if you don't have a phone that you can use PS Remote Play on, right? Instead of investing your hard-earned money on this device, put it towards getting a new phone, I promise you. It's just cloud gaming over Wi-Fi. There's no support for 4 or 5G, which would, I think if that was the case, we'd be having a different conversation. If either of these devices could support 4 or 5G, this would be a whole different thing because then it'd be like, okay, this is four people who want to game on the go. And then you can stick a SIM card in there and have like, solid internet access because 4 and 5G coverage around the UK right now, I don't know about elsewhere, is really solid. You can get it in the majority of places except in my house for some reason, which is great. Um, but that's not the case. It's Wi-Fi only and I just feel like public Wi-Fi, typically you can't even watch like YouTube videos and stuff on it. Oh, it's unsecure you, as well, I mean. Yeah, you always get these alerts when you're connecting to public Wi-Fi on like a train or something, for example, that is like, this is for browsing emails only because they have so many people connected to it that they just don't have the bandwidth to provide you access to stream an entire game from your PS5. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And because but why... it's cloud gaming, I'm assuming your PS5 is going to have to be left on at home. Like yes. PS5s aren't already like consuming so much energy and driving up your power, but you don't have to leave it at home when you're not there. <laughs> God, it's just like problem after problem. Yeah, but surely Sony has seen the Logitech cloud and got and seen it. What, what, what has made them look at the Steam Deck, look at the Ally, look at the G Cloud, look at the Switch and go, okay, I know, we'll go the Logitech G Cloud route. What, why why would they- I think they just didn't, I, what I'm feeling like is that they were in a bit of a rush, which is why they announced it before they even had a real name for the device. They announced it under Makes Project sense. Q. They didn't even say, oh yeah, this is what it's gonna be called or whatever. They just said internally, we're calling it Project Q. So that's like, okay, so you don't have a real name for it yet and you're announcing it to the public. Isn't that a bit fishy and weird, you know? And it's like, literally just a DualSense controller with the screen on as well. Yeah, it does feel like, very like Lego. They, <laughs> they just rushed it and I think this is the best they could do in the time that they set themselves for this project. And I just think they would have been better not entering the handheld space at all and then next year coming out with some type of PlayStation Portable, next Vita gen, too. some type of PS Vita, like because those devices were really good and mm. like were literally battling the Nintendo DS back in the day. Okay. If all they're <laughs> going to do is react to competition and react to competition and not innovate themselves, then don't bother, don't. Because this is the thing that they have, they've learned with the PSP, right? Is that yeah. they brought out the PSP, it was a great device, but it didn't beat out the Nintendo DS. Okay, now yeah. the Steam Deck is here, the Asus RG Ally is here, the Nintendo Switch are here. There are already three massive devices in the handheld gaming space. The, the Asus RG Ally maybe not as much since it's newer, but the Steam Deck and Nintendo Switch are definitely so massive giants yeah. in the handheld yeah. gaming space, right? Why are you trying to compete with them if you just like aren't willing to put in the R and D? Mm. What are you doing? What what is the, what are you hoping to get out of it?